Hey, you guys, I am so upset that I have to keep coming on here and like sharing bad news instead of good news um, about my health. I first off want to just say thank you guys so much for all of your prayers, um, all of your love, all of the messages that I've gotten. I haven't been able to read every single message, but if I liked your message, that means that I did read it. I am very appreciative. I got so many that like I right now, I just do not have time to write every single person back. And so, um, yeah, I'm definitely like making my way though. Um, the last couple days and the next few days are going to be very, very heck. Um, what's going off? So, if you guys don't know, which I'm sure most of you guys do, I have heart issues. I have aortic stenosis. I have peripartum cardiomyopathy. I have heart failure, and I have AFib. So, in December, I went into AFib two times. Monday night, this last Monday night that just passed. Me and Albert were just sitting here eating dinner and right when I was done eating dinner, I felt my heart start to palpitate and that's normal for me, but it wasn't going away. And so I was like, shit, I think I'm in AFib. So I did my little cardia thing and it told me, yes, I was in AFib. I'm like an hour away from my hospital. So we got right in the car. Albert started driving like a bat out of hell up there. And I was on the phone with um, the on-call cardiologist. And I just let them know what was going on and that I was on my way. When I got to the ER, they um, were expecting me. And they took me right back. They um, actually called my heart doctor because he wasn't on call. He wasn't working that day. And he still drove all the way to the hospital um, to come see me. They were able to cardiovert me. So cardioversion, again, for those of you who don't know, it's when they use um, like electrical waves to um, pretty much like restart your heart. So it's like an electric shock to your heart. Um, they sedated me, thank God, because they're a great hospital. They care about their patients. Um, they made sure I was fully sedated before they did anything. And, um, the conclusion that they came to was that, you know, I went into AFib three times within a month, within a span of 30 days. And so I have been taken off of my AFib medication and I'm going to be put on a new one. So the new medication that they're putting me on it is for AFib, um, but the thing is, is that I have to be monitored the first four days that I'm on it. So they consider it a drug overload. It does is it keeps your heart beating in a slow, steady rhythm. Um, but the problem with this medication is that sometimes it can prolong your heartbeat too much. And what happens when you have a prolonged heartbeat is your heart stops beating. So... Um, so they have to monitor that to make sure that that doesn't happen. Um, I've been through this before, but it does not get easier. Like, it doesn't. It, it just is so hard for me. Um, Bailey was there again, and she was just, like, so scared. And Albert's scared, and I'm scared. And this has just been very like emotionally draining for me and my family and I'm trying to like have as much faith as I can and I do but it's just so hard I just feel like I'm not catching a break and it just I mean it gets frustrating. Like I feel like <clears throat> when I start making progress, it only lasts for like a good week. And then my heart is just doing like the same shit. And I don't know why it hates me so much. Like I, I really have like changed my lifestyle so much. Like I haven't drank alcohol in three years. I, <clears throat> I quit smoking.
that's been like three years. I've been way more active, which like I never like used to work out at all. I've been way more active. I've been more into like my health. I've, I don't know, like I've just like done so many things and like it just, it just like isn't working. And just like the doctor said, like it's not my fault. Like this, this kind of thing, it just comes and goes like when it wants to, but it's just so frustrating because I have a husband and I have a daughter and I just feel like it's not fair. And I know that people are going through way worse than me. I'm not downplaying anybody else, but I'm talking about myself for right now and I'm allowed to feel how I feel. I, you know, I had my husband yesterday like break down to me like crying, which he never ever does. And it's just so sad that like this literally it does not just affect me like it affects everybody in my family it affects everybody around me like bailey was crying for me at the at the hospital i was getting cardioverted praying to god that i wasn't going to die like what six-year-old prays to god that their mom isn't going to die i just got this job and i already have to call them and let them know that i'm not going to be there tomorrow that everything that's going on and i don't even know if like they're going to want me to work there after that but Anyways, thank you guys so much for like all of your love, all of your prayers. I'm going to give Albert and my sister my Instagram password to be able to like get on and like update you guys like if I can't, but just thank you so much for like understanding me being distant and everything. Um I just have so much going on right now. Like I can't even think about like Instagram. Like I can't even think about like explaining everything to everybody because like I I'm like having a hard time like processing it as you know as myself so anyways I love you guys thank you guys so much I'm sorry for fucking crying but I'm just scared um but yeah all right